What's up, my ninjas? Uh, I've stated before that I have no problem with Ben Affleck assuming the role of Batman. But I can't end the video with that, can I? So, what I decided to do is talk about what could have been and how important Bill Finger has been to comics in general over the past, like, 70 years. Whether you're a Marvel fan or a DC fan, Bill Finger has been fingering your favorite characters throughout their development and was never even recognized for his work until only recently, like in 2014 or 2015. Bob Kane is technically the creator of the Batman. However, the Batman he created was a total pansy. And if by some miracle that pansy-ass Batman didn't get canceled after his initial debut and somehow made it to the Justice League, he'd be the Aquaman of the Justice League, but way, way more useless uh, if you can imagine that being possible. <laughs> Bob Kane is a real piece of shit. Everything about the current Batman was suggested to Kane by Bill Finger. Kane went to consult with Finger on the direction he should go with the character, and uh, after Finger told Kane that his Batman was an urban pussy, he told him how to fix it how to make it not suck. This is originally what Batman was supposed to look like. Look familiar? <laughs> yes, of course it does. Because it's fucking Aquaman with a domino mask and Batwing. <laughs> Bill Finger told Bob Kane to change his costume from that Pride Parade pansy suit to a suit that was black and gray. He also told him to get rid of the ridiculous mask and give him a cowl resembling a bat's head and gloves. The utility belt was Finger's idea and even the sidekick Robin was Finger's idea. Finger supplied the Batman and Robin's alter egos, names, and backstories. Bill Finger pretty much created Batman. The only thing Bob Kane supplied was the hero name, the Batman, and some poorly thought out character designs that we can laugh at today. <laughs> so after learning all that, in the name of justice, I will never again say Bob Kane created Batman. When asked, I will reply, Bill Finger created the Batman we know and love today. And again, I have no problem with Ben Affleck being Batman. Seriously, who doesn't want to be Batman? I trust Affleck with the role. That's not to say that he still isn't an ass bag, or a douche nozzle. I just don't see him screwing up the Batman any worse than Bob Kane did with this douchebaggery. <laughs> if you like this video, please, please, please click that like button and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. Uh, I got a little off schedule these past couple weeks, but normally I post on Sundays and when I get my time a little better under control, I will begin posting on Wednesdays as well. Like, subscribe, share, and as always, don't eat yellow snow.